Hey, here's my uh, original idea, my uh, pumpkin uh, prop for uh, Halloween 2014. I, uh, uh, it's not finished yet, but uh, you get the basic idea here. So it's basically a you know foam pumpkin. Actually, I got this one at Home Depot. It was nice because it was kind of tall and slender, which you kind of have to you need. Um, so inside there, you can see there's uh, just one of those um, rotating uh, Halloween props. I just spray painted some little orange paint on there. The bottom half would match the inside of the pumpkin. I just sprayed the inside of the pumpkin too because it was, see the inside of the color of the teeth, that's what it was. So a little orange in there. <clears throat> um, hardest part was probably balancing the bottom. So the, the bottom, you put the chain in the center, it wants to fly like this all the time. So. I, uh, if you can see them, I had to put some um, uh, fishing string in there um, at four different points to uh, try to balance it out. Um, so what I think I'll do is I'll shorten this chain. I'll take one link out of that chain, bring the moth up a little bit, and then I'll probably blacken the eyes, just probably magic marker. I don't want to cut them out because if you cut them out then you'll see through, you'll see the, the mechanism inside. Um, but basically I just, you know, used some paracord there and drilled a hole down through the top of the, uh, the stem there and tied it to the, to the motor so it's actually hanging by the motor. Is a, this wrap around here is just for looks, that doesn't actually do anything. Um, uh, the pumpkin itself is kind of plain, um, I don't know if I'm going to stress that you know make it to uh, put some black or some green or some dirt or whatever on there but or blood on the teeth i'm not sure about blood on the teeth either but um i don't know it's pretty cool um hopefully somebody can add to it and uh make it even neater all right good luck